This is my team on firing the first unit of the world's largest integrated power plant and coal mines, the Sasan Ultra Mega Power Project. Today, I and my team have many such emotions to share. Our challenges, our struggle, and our passion. The story of tremendous efforts of my team of 3,000 dedicating more than one crore hours this year to craft success. These efforts resulted in doubling our operating capacity, 91% jump in revenues, profits crossing the rupees 1,000 crore mark for the first time, an increase of 17%. Especially when most of the power companies reported losses, this is success, your success. Let me now present to you the Lens Power's Video Annual Report 2013. I start with Milestone. For your company, this year's most significant achievement is the successful start of operations of the first 660 megawatt unit of our 3960 megawatt Sasan Ultra Mega Power Project. Built with most efficient, environment-friendly supercritical technology, Sasan UMPP in Madhya Pradesh is a landmark in size, mine capacity, investment, and employment creation. The journey of the world's largest integrated power plant and coal mining project consists of many latest, largest, and the fastest feats. Our Zazen Coal Mine, with an annual peak coal production of 20 million tonnes, is the largest mine in India in terms of volume handled. Our operation started in September 2012, a time span of even less than one year from mining lease. This is also the fastest start of production by any mine in India. An operating fleet of 55 240 ton dumpers prowl the mines to and fro, with a total carrying capacity of five railway rakes. Surprisingly, these prior to beasts almost look normal compared with the giant equipment we have the shovels and the drag lines. We have six 42 cubic metre rope shovels clinically excavating. Each bucket itself can easily hold as many as 35 fully grown men. And then there is the drag line, the king of these beasts. The 61 cubic metre bucket drag line is over two and a half times the size of the largest drag line presently operating in India. Its height is equivalent to a 30 storey building. There will not be one, but two of these giants operating in our mines. These machines and systems are really state of the art, not only for India, but even globally. Sasan is also the story of a benchmark in execution. We had won Sasan through tariff-based competitive bidding. As you all know, we commissioned the first unit to well ahead of the bid schedule. In this journey, we have set a number of records. The fastest hydro test in 10 and a half months, the fastest border light up in just 23 and a half months. Sasan is indeed a joy of the largest and the fastest integrated success. A successfully integrated coal mine and power plant, a successful integration of EPC and ONM, integration of Indian and Chinese skills and technology, and an integrated effort of Reliance Group companies. Sasan UMPP will supply affordable and reliable power to seven Indian states, benefiting 35 crore Indians and will lead to savings of nearly 1,20,000 crore rupees for the nation. Sasan is truly a testimony of Reliance Power's execution capability. Sasan is one more significant step. We are moving into an operation phase. This year, we have doubled our operating capacity. Our operating assets of 1,200 megawatt Rosa Dharmal and 40 megawatt solar power have really outperformed. In spite of the coal shortages, Rosa excelled with an availability of 92%, nearly doubling its profits and generating 8 billion units of electricity. Our 40 megawatt solar PV plant, the largest in the country, also recorded an impressive 60 million units of electricity in its first year itself. Our entire 600 megawatt Beautybury power plant is ready to supply electricity to homes in Mumbai. Our 45 megawatt wind project in Washpet, Maharashtra has been commissioned and has already started supplying clean and green power. Today, I can proudly say we are an operating company and that most of our revenue and profits are from operations. Not only did our operations stabilize, we have edged forward with a distinct competitive advantage of fuel security. 
having commenced coal mining operations at our Mohar Moharam Lori coal mines and significant developments in our 5 million tons per annum Chatrasal coal mine, 40 million tons per annum Thalaya coal mines and our 30 million tons per annum Indonesian coal mines. We feel secure with over 4 billion tons of coal reserves. With an aggregate of 95 million tons per annum production capacity, Reliance Power will be among the world's top 10 coal resources companies, which gives us a distinct competitive advantage. This coming year, we will also commission another significant project, a 100 megawatt solar CSP in Jorsar, Rajasthan. This concentrated solar power technology is one of the most advanced in the world. These innovations and advanced technologies will make your company India's largest and greenest renewable energy company. With our salmon coat gas plant ready to generate a rapidly progressing tattoo, seom and color hydro projects, we have taken off smoothly. Now let the numbers do the talking. Like the last few years, this has also been a challenging year for the Indian economy and the power sector, in spite of which we have been steadily moving up. Yes, we have increased our operating income by 237 times in just three years from 20.7 crores in financial year 2010 to 4,927 crores in financial year 2013 with a corresponding increase in EBITDA. During the financial year 2013, by doubling our operating capacity and augmented by our operational efficiencies, the increase in operating income and EBITDA has more than doubled. We continue to prove ourselves against all odds. But our story goes beyond this. It revolves around our impatient search to this endless question. How do we achieve continuous inclusive growth? Reliance Power's trust is on healthcare services, social and physical infrastructure initiatives, educational interventions, and various other activities that lead to generation of income and restoration of livelihood of community members. The company's R&R colonies have become a hub of sports and cultural activities, a bustling model of social integration. I believe the greatest strength of our CSR activities is that it is looked upon as a business process like operations and EPC and not as a post-profit philanthropy. It is result-oriented at the grassroots level and focused on sustainability. Today as we and the Indian power sector strive to fulfill our dreams and turn plans into reality, even when the sector is struggling to grow gradually, we as a company are growing steadily. And now I can confidently say we, we have consolidated, consolidated and grown. And this is just the beginning.